and girls, my name is Teacher Lisa and today I am going to be reading you a story called Froggy Learns to Swim by Jonathan London and illustrated by Frank Remowitz. So Froggy Learns to Swim. Let's see. It was hot. It was a great day for a swim, said Froggy's mother. So Froggy and his parents flopped outside to the pond. Flop, flop, flop. So there they are. Go swimming. On your mark, get set, go. Froggy's father sailed in, splash. Froggy's mother sailed in, splash. But where was Froggy? Oh, Froggy, said his mom. What? Come on in and swim. No, no, I don't know how to swim. I am going to get on the swings instead, he said. So he said he doesn't know how to swim. Wee, sang Froggy, swinging higher and higher. He swung so high, he almost touched the sky. He swung so high, he wound around and around the crossbar. Zing! So there he is, swinging while his mom and dad are swimming. Then a, wa then a wound like a spring. Zing! He went flying in the air. So he was going super fast and he ended up swinging around the pole and went flying off. I wonder where he's going to land. Right smack into the pond. Splash! What are you doing? asked Froggy's mother. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, said Froggy. Help me. He grabbed onto his mother and climbed on. What do you mean you are drowning? Don't you know that you're a frog and frogs are born in water? They are very good swimmers. Not me, not me, said Froggy. I can't swim. Oh, fiddlesticks, said his mom. I will show you how. So there he is. He thinks he's drowning. But like his mom said, he's a frog and frogs live in the water. He should know how to swim. First, float on your belly and stick your face in. I promise I won't let you go. And then you say, bubble, bubble under water. Then raise your face out for air and say, toot, toot. I don't want to, Froggy said. Oh, come on, Froggy, just try it. Repeat after me, bubble, bubble, toot, toot. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, said Froggy. So here is his mom teaching him how to put his face in the water and how to float. Great, now float on your back and do the frog kick. I promise I won't let you go. Then go like this. And he showed, and she showed Froggy how saying, chicken, airplane, Soldier. Do it and repeat after me. Chicken, airplane, soldier. I don't want to, I don't want to, said Froggy. Oh, come on, said his mom. All right. Chicken, airplane, soldier, said Froggy. And he glubbed and he blubbed and he almost sank into the water. Mom, mom, I need flippers. And then I can swim, he said. He needs flippers, he said, but look at his feet. What do his feet look like? Hmm. Froggy climbed out and he flopped back into the house. He pulled on his flippers, zoop, and he flopped back into the pond. Flop, flop, flop. So look at his feet. They're green. Then he put on his flippers. Don't his flippers and his feet look 
the same? Hmm. Now try it again, Froggy's mom said. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier. He glubbed and he blubbed and he almost sank in the water. Mom, I need a mask and a snorkel. And then I can swim, he said. <clears throat> His mom is saying, oh my goodness. Let's see if that helps him. Froggy climbed out and he flopped back into the house. He pulled on his mask and his snorkel, zook, zick, and he flopped back to the pond. Flop, 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 and splash. Now one more time, said his mom. Bubble, bubble, two, two, chicken, airplane, soldier. So at least he looks happier, right? Now that he's in the water, he doesn't look scared. And then it happened. Oops, said Froggy. What's the matter, said his mom. Oh, nothing, he said, looking more red in the face than green. Well, it's getting cold, Froggy. I think it's time for us to get out. No, 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 I can't get out, Froggy said. And his mom said, why not? Why do you think he can't get out? What do you think happened where he cannot get out? Let's see. Well, and he bubbled underwater while he crawled, while she crawled out. Then he burst up in the air and yelled, wait, wait. What is it, said his mom. What is wrong? So his mom and down, I want to go inside, but he said he cannot get out. My bathing suit, he shouted. Don't look, I'm getting out. Froggy climbed out and he yanked on his bathing suit with a zap. Then he pulled on his flippers, zoop, and he sailed back into the pond, flop, 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 and splash. So his Swim trunks were falling down, so he didn't want his mommy to see him, so he told his mom not to look, so he had to fix them. But then he stood in the water. Froggy, said his mom. What? I told you, it's time to get out. No, no, I don't want to get out. I want to swim. So there he is. Still swimming. Froggy's mother shook her head. I told you frogs are great swimmers, she said. And she sat down with Froggy's father to watch him. And Froggy sang, bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier. So even though his mommy and daddy wanted to get out, he wasn't ready. But his mommy and daddy did not leave him in the water and go inside because that is not safe. So they have to stay out there and watch him to make sure that he is okay. So they're sitting there watching him because it's never safe to swim by yourself. All night long, Froggy was swimming. So even in the nighttime, as long as Froggy is in the water, his mommy and daddy are still watching him because it's not safe for him to be out there by himself. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story about Froggy learning to swim. Thank you for watching.